The industry has much evolved in the past decade. When needing to replace or repair parts around existing geometry, the good old methods of measuring with a measuring tape and digital calipers simply doesn't cut it anymore. More and more companies are leaning to 3D scanning to capture and leverage the existing geometry effortlessly. SOLIDWORKS has much evolved as well and now gives you more freedom than ever to work with and manipulate those file types. Let's start by looking at the various options we have here. We can choose to open our mesh files like STL or OBJ in solid or surface body. Then we have further options below to specify how the facets are going to be bounded and then choose the desired unit system for the import. Then when my files open, you can see in my tree that I am working with a solid body, giving me all of the benefits of solid modeling, like accurate weight if a material is added and the ability to do cross sections. We can do much more with mesh geometry, starting with a surface for mesh feature. This tool enables you to turn mesh data into SOLIDWORKS surfaces quickly utilizing a simple workflow. Just choose the type of surface you wish to create. Then using the purpose-built paint selected facets tool, you can easily swipe to select a handful of faces for the desired surface. Notice that not every surface needs to be selected. By simply choosing Calculate, SOLIDWORKS will automatically gather the remaining faces for you and create the appropriate surface. Once any number of surfaces have been created in this manner, they will benefit from all of the surfacing capabilities found in SOLIDWORKS, allowing you to take full advantage of those familiar tools. Any graphical mesh can be converted into a mesh body quickly from the right mouse menu. Mesh bodies are similar to solid bodies in that they are watertight, have mass properties associated with them, and can be sectioned normally. But they do have some differences, which we will take a look at in a moment. You can take your mesh data much further with some powerful workflows specific to mesh geometry. For instance, you can add any geometry to mesh files using all of the familiar tools you're used to in SOLIDWORKS. You can even reference the underlying mesh geometry when adding uh, sketch relationships. The only difference, however, is these features aren't automatically merged with the mesh geometry. To do that, you can also convert traditional solid bodies into mesh bodies as well, just like we showed before for graphical mesh. This ultimately allows you to take any geometry you've created and perform a variety of Boolean style features to further manipulate your mesh. Once we're completed with our modifications, we can save this as a regular solid part to be used in our downstream assemblies, either for uh, positioning reference or accurate build materials. 